Hey guys, Faisal here with Galaxy S5 Soft Modder, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to activate kids mode on your Galaxy S5. Uh, this was a feature that was supposed to come standard with uh, the S5, but for whatever reason didn't make it on to at least the US variants. So I'm going to show you how to activate it and uh, set it up and get it going. Um, and I've got all the files that you need in the full tutorial, so go ahead and download them and transfer them to your uh, S5 or just download them directly. Once you do, uh, you can just head to the My Files area. I put them all in one folder called Kids Mode. Now this is a little tedious, you have to go one by one and install them all. Um, you know, there's a few apps here, so it may take just a few minutes, but once you do, um, and you're going to see kids mode here in your app drawer. Go ahead and tap that and it'll start you on the setup process. Um, now what this mode basically is, is it's a dumbed down version of TouchWiz that runs on top of your uh, standard launcher. And you know, it's got a little bit more um, visual, uh, some more visual cues, some, you know, stuff that your your kids are going to find probably just more fun. Um, so go ahead and uh, you can slide through the initial menu, it just kind of tells you a little bit about it. And then when you're ready to go, hit set pin and set your four digit pin um, and then confirm it. Uh, once you do that, it's going to ask you for an alternate password just in case. So I'm just going to go with play and continue and then confirm it. Um, now this thing's a, you know pretty much a cinch to set up. You can set up your kid's profile. So I'm just gonna go with kid because I don't have a kid, so that's a good enough name for me. And I'll just choose a four-year-old. So set up the information there and hit next. Um, it's got another disclaimer here about uh, the apps, as basically saying that if you find anything offensive in the uh, apps, go ahead and let Samsung know so they can get that taken care of. Now it's going to show you the apps that you have on your device and allow you to pick ones that you want your uh, kids to have access to. So um, I recently did a reset. I don't have a lot of apps here, but let's just give them a couple Angry Birds, maybe some Netflix, and... Um, they don't need Spotify or Twitter or Snapchat. Um, so that's pretty much it. We'll do that. Profiles created and you're set to go. Now, uh, you're going to see kind of a drastically different home screen. Um, oh, look. Happened to be my birthday because that's the day that I entered. Um, you just hit that X and it goes away. Uh, very simple layout. Now, these are five of the standard apps that you have here. Um, camera, music player, uh, kind of like a sketching app. A, uh, a movie app and a uh, like a gallery type app. If you um, hit these boxes, these are the apps that you allowed uh, in kids mode, and they have a cool little animation. You know, that's fun for your kids. At least I assume it might be. Um, so they have access to them. Um, again, very minimal here. You don't even have the status bar. Though a swipe down does pull that, uh, so you. Uh, can have access to that. Now there's only two screens. Uh, you pull one over here and you've got this little guy, he's animated, you've got a clock that uh, does a few things when you tap it. Uh, this guy, when you tap, you know, kind of has some some animations, um, does a few things, and when you uh, tap that little bubble, what you could do is customize him. So let's say I want to give him a hat and maybe a nice shirt or some shoes. How about some shoes? And let's give him a shirt. How about a tutu? There we go. Now he's all ready to go and um, you just hit the X and that guy sits on the home screen. So that's um, that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, you know, I'll show you the camera app here. Um, when you go to it, it's really just a, a kind of a, a more colorful kids version of the app. You don't have a ton of the camera features here, but you do have video mode and you can go uh, and add like, let's say I take a picture of this guy and here, let me take a picture and I'll show you guys. So I've got that picture. It makes a cool little fun sound. Now if I hit the goggles, uh, it's going to try to detect a face, I believe, and then insert some goggles into it. Um, you know, you can check out the gallery. This is a kid's version of the gallery. Um, so you have that. Uh, let's see what else you have. Um, this app here, 
lets you take and draw and sing so you have a sound recorder um, where you know your kids can record sounds and funny things can happen um, you have a sketch app that lets you sketch things um, I don't need to get into that for you guys you guys can see what it does here um, and so really it's just a, a kind of a kids geared um, launcher you can say and you know th again this is not it's not like you're gonna buy an S5 and give it to your kid maybe you are um, but this is more geared towards when you know uh, they want to play a game or something on your phone and you don't want them to mess anything up that's yours so um, not to get out of it uh, you just hit this little door exit sign and it's gonna ask you for your pin uh, and then you're out uh, the other button there is um, this kind of it looks like an adult with a child and what this does is it gives you a kind of a dashboard where you can do a few things. You can um, see the activity, so kind of you know what they've used, how long they've been there, last seven days and 30 days here. And uh, you can set a daily playtime limit. You just flip it on, you set the timer. Um, uh, here you can control the applications that they have access to. So if you want to add more, just hit the plus sign. Uh, you can also reorder them. Um, you have media, uh, uh, so you can allow, you know, if you have um, videos or music on your device, you can allow which are uh, accessible to the kids. Um, this general area, just a few settings here, you can change your pin, you can reset the whole thing, check for updates, um, block the back key, which is interesting, you know, uh, I don't really see a use for it, but, but maybe there is. And then there's also a parallax effect, uh, 3D tilting effect. The reason they give that an option is that can be a little disorienting for some people. And then finally, you have the kids store uh, where you can get uh, other apps and things. Um, a lot of them are a are dollar or a couple bucks. There are some free ones here as well. So go ahead and check those out. Um, but basically, you know, it's a slimmed down version and it's something that wasn't available uh, on the standard build when you pulled uh, the device out of the box. Now, uh, to go back, you know, if you hit home, it does go back to kids mode, so you have to hit this exit button and enter your PIN. Uh, so it's a good protected layer to keep, uh, you know, your personal things separate from uh, what your kids can access. And, um, you know, pretty much a cinch to install. You don't need root or anything. You just have to grab the files from the tutorial, install them, and you are set to go. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and, you know, let me know what you think about this mode. Uh, I don't understand why Samsung didn't include it, but, uh, again, it may have been just the carrier's doing. Uh, anyways, uh, have a good one, guys. Thanks.